prepped up the sliders to how they look like from the manual. Everything in its place. As I started taking off the fairings, of course my dog doesn't start bugging me. <laughs> He's a jealous boy. But he's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah. Alright, so I started taking off the two Philip head screws in the fairings. Then the Allen key sockets. I think they were a size 4. And I started to remove the upper part of the fairing. There's like three push in pins, I think. And they'll slide right out. And now. Pretty much putting all the pins back just to be safe so I don't lose them. And I started pulling the side fairing. Uh, that's a 10 millimeter bolt right there. 10 millimeter up top as well. And now I start prying it off. Don't forget that there's a connector up there for the light. Next, I start doing the engine bolts. Loosen those up real quick. Pull out the little plug in the fairing. Loosen that bolt as well. Then I install the actual frame part of it, I guess you could say, or the bracket. Put in the spacer on the bolt. And then the way I positioned it, positioned it, I had it up top. Uh, that's what fit best for me. And now I'm just torquing it up. I think it was like 20 nm. I'll say in the manual. But make sure those are good. You don't want that stuff loose. Of course, dog goes to sleep. Then I put in the little spiky stick thingy on it. To like let you know where to drill the hole. Drill the hole. Forgot to record the rest of it. But as you can see here, it's touching the fairing itself. So you gotta trim that. I trimmed a little bit of it. It still hits, but it's not really too noticeable. It doesn't really flex the fairing as much. Remember to always cut away from yourself. Nah, I'm saying. Now you got a test fit. I already dremeled the hole, or cut the hole. I used the three quarter inch hole saw. And pretty much put everything back together. Test fit. See how everything works. Take your time, no rush. And that bottom fairing has the longest bolt of the Allen keys. Everything else is pretty much the same. Put the bottom part of the fairing back together. Now the back part of the fairing. Twist, 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 baby. Make sure everything is snug. And gotta double check, see if everything is put on tight. Everything is clipped in place as well. Now for the top part of the fairing. I think I was looking at where it was hitting on the bracket itself. Gotta give the dog some scratches. Being a good boy. Yeah. That's a good boy. A little voiceover. That's a good boy. Who's a good boy? That's a good boy. <laughs> He's enjoying life for sure. Now, tighten everything up. Now, to put the actual frame slider itself on. I think that was a 17 millimeter. I'm not too sure. You'll see it when you get it. Time to torque everything down. Actually, just torque the actual frame slider to the bracket. I think I also torqued that to 20. Now for the left side. Oh, I also did the right side first, which is a lot harder because of that little swivel on the bracket where you can adjust it. Uh, I highly recommend doing the left side first. Pretty much the same thing as the right side. 
Simple pimple. No biggie. All of this is pretty much same exact thing, but mirrored. The front part of the fairing, I had a hard time putting the clips on. There was like three clips that hooked onto the actual main headlight area. And it was kind of tricky for me, but I was able to do it. This side was a lot easier because the bracket was pretty much straight and there was only one way for it to go on. You always want that threaded part, the piece I'm touching right now, you want that on the back side. Now you want to put the clips on and double check everything is where it's supposed to be. And we're at thread hits. You want it to hit the fairing so it marks the spot where you're going to drill. So I was squeezing the bracket to the fairing so that the dimple part of the that bolt hits the frame and makes a mark so I know where I'm going to drill. So here I'm taking out the fairing again, little by little. And I pretty much drilled the hole and putting everything back. I totally forgot to record the drilling part of that side, but whatever. Now is one of my uh, dumb moments. I was like, I, I'm pretty sure this will fit this way. I was like, wait. <laughs> like, oh, it finally clicked. Easy, putting it back on, putting the bolts back on. Nothing too hard, nothing too hard. Using that little fairing part on top was kind of tricky because you sometimes you got to move the handlebar to get it to fit in properly. And there are also clips on those, along with the little plastic tab clips. I'm pretty sure I'm using the wrong terms for it, but whatever. You get the idea. And that's a 10 millimeter, I believe. Actually, no, that was the size 4 Allen key. And shablam, baby. What is that? Slow mo, babes. Mm. Protection.